just wrapped up my e-valves course and my model's precision has increased by 10%. You spent $1,000 on e-valves for 10% precision? Is that even a good decision? Well, it means fewer false positives. They think it has something to do with gender. Okay, picture this. Every time our agent makes a mistake, it costs us $10. With my 10% precision improvement, that's going to result in a saving $100,000 every quarter. I like that. And thanks for explaining it in business terms. So many of you developers, just hard to understand. Hold up. For that 10% gain, what's the added cost of a better model? More models that we're going to have to have? Thinking about throughput, what are our GPU bills going to be? Right. I should think about the increases that we're going to have for model and inference. Let me go calculate that. Isn't that TCO, total cost of ownership? Shouldn't you be thinking about that? Okay, switching to a higher quality model, running evals, adding latencies, going to triple our AI costs, so probably going to come to about a total of 100000 a month. Hold up. That eats into my bonus. I mean, our profit. Isn't there an alternative? I didn't know I was supposed to balance business and technical metrics. That's not what I learned in school. School. Let me introduce you to my educational assistant, ChatGPT.